Hey everyone, welcome to Average Joe Preparedness. My name's Rick, and I'm an Average Joe. For all of you guys coming back, hey, welcome for the new people. This channel is for average people, and it starts off with the basics. Uh, what uh, FEMA, the Red Cross, your state and local agencies uh, would call off for preparedness. You can get the checklist, go to .govs, and you can get those. So we talk about that. Then at the next level is what I always call camping. If anybody's got a different word for it, it's cool. So, and that is the supplies that people would use for camping that I would use for camping. I do that once in a while. And how those could help you if a larger contingency happens, such as the most recent, which is the hurricane down in Florida. And we went over it in some videos. I usually point and maybe I put something here. I don't think I will, but we'll see. Yes. So that's what this channel is about. Basic preparedness, not doomsday prepping, but basic preparedness. And then what I call camping, which are things that can help you be ready for a bigger contingency, such as a natural disaster. Yes. Yes. Now, a couple of videos back, I put out a challenge and I'd done it like a couple years ago, but without the $25. And I said, if you guys have any ideas, if you're new and you're not sure about something that you may want to actually invest your money in, and money is very important, finances, 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 I've got videos on those. Uh, let me know. I might have already have it and I might, and I'll test it out or tell you if it's worth the money and how long it's going to hold up. Or if it's not that much, I was going to go out and get it for you and test it. Uh, but then recently I put like a $25 challenge. I'm like, I, I put 25 bucks together. If you guys can come up with something that you're interested in that costs less than 25 bucks, uh, I'll go get it and I'll test it out. Yes, to see if it's worth it. And that's what we've done. Now, as one of my longtime subscribers has reminded me and everyone, this is not my niche. It's not my genre. There are huge prepper channels out there, preparedness channels, and they get these big things and they test them. And, and that's not what I do. I have done things like taste tests on camping food, uh, the MREs, I did that once. There was this little survival package, some little things in it. It's not normally what I do, but I did, I put it out there a couple years ago. I figured I'd put it out there again uh, to remind people because some people aren't sure. There are so many things out there for preparedness or survival or what the hell ever. And wasting your money is a bad idea. And so it can, hes it can cause people to hesitate. Like, oh, do I really need that? Do I really want that? So I do do it, but it's not my niche. Don't expect this all the time. Like, oh yeah, Rick does these things. No, it's not what I do. Not my channel, small little channel. Yes, but I am doing this one because I did put it out and I said I would. Yes, yes. So I also said that when you guys sent me stuff, I was going to pick. I know it's almost like cheating. And there were a couple things I was like, no, there's this little card thing that I looked at before. And I'm like, I thought that was a joke that someone had sent that idea. But so I picked two and I think they're pertinent to what's going on in the world. And I picked two because added up together before taxes and shipping and everything, it came to just like 25 bucks. So I figured, okay, that was the limit. I said one thing, but we're going to go ahead and do two just for you guys. Yay. And for me. And again, because it's pertinent to what's going on. Now, one of them hasn't arrived yet. I got them off of Amazon, not plugging them, but that's what I do. And, uh, but one of them has, so I'm going to go over it. I'm going to go over why I got it. What, uh, what it's supposed to do. I, I went to the website. We'll get the official information. We'll do some little stories about it. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to test it. Yes. Yes. So one of the ones I picked is a, everyone should, Life Straw. Now, if you've been into preparedness for any amount of time, everybody knows what this is. Okay. Now these came out, I'm just going to set this down. These came out years ago and they, they got a good reputation because they're used in third world countries. And originally it started off with these small ones and then they have larger ones and they have ones that are like community ones that can do thousands and thousands and tens of thousands. And they can like bring them into a village and just fill them up with water and everybody can get water from it. So these are not new. Now, uh, I have seen videos on how great they are and what they've done in the past. And, and I'm not going to say anything bad about them. I have them. Okay. However, there's a little bit more to the story to it. And let's get into that. Now, as I said, I have them. Watch this. This is, this is the one I got off Amazon. See, it's brand new. Cool. This is one you can tell because I got that. That's in one of my bags. Now I tore this off because it was big, but I kept this because these are the instructions. I actually kept the instructions on it. And I have multiple bags and I have these. I also have, there's a, a, a mini Sawyer's 
but I have those too, but I have these and I've had these for years. The thing is, is I've never had to use one. You with me? Now, anecdotally, uh, one of my sons, he does hiking and him and a buddy were doing some really long range uh, hiking through a swampy area and can, things happen, things happen, things happen, no matter how well you're prepared. And that's why you practice uh, stuff. And it turned out they were out of water. It's a long story. But one of them, not my son, but his hiking buddy had brought one of these. And this thing kept them drinking water for three days between two people. So they use this in a swamp. You with me? That's what they were trekking through. For three days, two people, they drank with this. Yes, I know it's anecdotal because any experience in life that a person has is just that. I don't know why they call it that, but because that's all I know. All I know is what I know. And all he knows is what he knows. So I heard the story and he was like, yeah. And he went out and got some. After that, he didn't He didn't have one at the time. And uh, so two people, three days, kept him alive. Don't get me wrong. They had satellite phones and they could have called people in to rescue them. And they could have gotten out. And don't make it worse than what it is. But they kept trudging along because they had this. Yes? So let's finish it off. This part, at least. I have these and have never used them. But I have known someone, two people actually, who have used them for three days drinking out of a swamp. Yes? Yes. Now, if you go out on the internet and you, some people are like, they're hard to drink through and there's other ones that are better and you can get little pumps and gravity feeding. It's come a long way. This is like, I think this is like the original kind of design I had years ago because this is years old. And it hasn't really changed. See, I don't even think the packaging has changed because I tore it off. So this is like a tried and true thing. And I've heard all about it and I've heard anecdotal, but I've never had to use it. And I've never actually seen anybody set up a, I don't know, an experiment or a demonstration where they've actually used these. And so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. Let me show you some of the supplies I'm going to use. And then I'm going to show you where I'm going to get the water. Ugh, this terrible water. It'll... See, little freaking can that I want to use. One rubber band. I'll show you in a second. And a handkerchief or whatever you guys want to call these. And I have these everywhere. And I've used these in the past. These things are awesome. So this is one I actually grabbed out of a backpack. Yes? Yes. So I am going to test. Now watch. This is what I'm going to swap it up on you. This is the one I got off Amazon. This isn't the one I'm testing. I'm testing this one. Well, Rick, why are you going to test that one? Didn't you say it's old and it's been in your backpack forever? Yes, because if someone's going to use it, this is the one they're probably going to use. They're not going to use the one fresh off of Amazon. They're going to use the one that they've had in their uh, backpack that they go hiking with or with a bug out bag or 72 hour bag or their emergency kit tote or whatever. This is the one people are going to use. The one that's like three years old or four years old. I have no idea how old this thing is. The thing that's been in there bouncing around and this is the one that's going to be used, not this. So, I mean, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I figure if I'm gonna test one, this is the one I'm testing. Yes, yes. And we're gonna use a bandana and a rubber band and a camping cup. Let's go take a look at the water we're gonna be drinking. Ugh. For those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, you should recognize these. These are rain catching uh, system that I use to water my gardens. That's it. Now they get water in three ways and none of them are good, supposedly. So the first way and the littlest way I guess we could say is you see that they have an opening on the top that's got the screens. And when it rains, like this one's got that, we'll go in a second, but when it rains, water just goes in here because it's open. And recently, the government has said that rainwater is no longer palatable in some places. I don't know here, but I'm just letting you know. So technically, rainwater is not good, and it goes in there. The second way is uh, through my sprinklers. When my sprinklers are on, we have uh, something called secondary water. And secondary water, if you're not familiar with that, is basically open trench water that they collect and then they pump it to my house and I pay my taxes on my property and it's a lot of money and it's non-potable water that goes in your sprinkler system. And I water my garden with it. But again, it falls up in here and it goes in there and that's two of the ways 
that these get water. Now the third way is obvious. You see the downspout and it goes up and yeah, it comes off my house. So water that lands on the roof of my house, it drains into that. Can you only imagine what is in that water? Anyone? Anyone? Everything from rocks to bird poop to God only knows what. And I can tell you, I empty these and I clear them out about once a year and they are terrible. It's like they stink, they got pond scum on the inside. It's just not pleasant. So this is non-potable water. I use it to garden, water gardens with, and that's it. And that is what I'm gonna be drinking. All right, so we're back inside. Now, admittedly, that is not swamp water. That is not gutter water or rain off water or whatever, or rain like in the streets, you know what I'm saying? That runs through the curves. That is, Rainwater that gets in there, it's rainwater that comes off my roof and it's non-potable sprinkler water. But I am telling you, we don't drink it. And like I said, I've cleaned those things out and it is terrible. So that's what I'm gonna do this experiment with. And hopefully, it's not gonna cost me, if you guys understand what I'm saying. I've drinking bad water before. I don't know if you guys have. It can lead to an unpleasant experience for like two, three days. Yes, but hopefully that won't happen. And I'm gonna mitigate that by drinking small amounts each day. Yes? So let's talk about how we're going to do that. Now, basically, anyone will tell you, I hope, and it's in the instructions and stuff, that before you drink water using any sort of filter system, if you can, you should pre-filter it. And that is what this is for. So imagine this. I'm going to take this cup. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to put it across the top. I'm going to hold it in place with this empty rubber band. I'm going to put it under the thing and let the water pour through it. That's supposed to help your filter systems and get rid of anything large that may be in the water. Then I'm gonna take it off. I'm going to take this and I am going to drink out of it. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna show you guys the first time, I guess I can show you the first time. I don't think you guys wanna see this every day. And I'm gonna do this about every day for, I don't know, a week. But just doing this much each day should keep me from, hopefully if something goes wrong, I'm not gonna come back with a video saying, yeah, I went to urgent care and because my belly was bad and I had something happen by drinking bad water. Now let's use that as a lesson. In a lot of emergency situations and in places where tragedy uh, strikes, uh, bad water, bad water is a terrible thing. You guys can Google on your phones or your computer and find out how many people each year die because of bad water, drinking bad water. It can cause terrible things. And I personally have seen what it can do to people. And it is a nightmare. You do not want to drink bad water. That's why that water doesn't get drunk. I don't let anybody do it. That's why it's used for plants. It's non-potable. Non-potable water can have serious consequences leading up to and including death. It will kill you to drink bad water. Yes, yes, I've seen it. It is unpleasant. Avoid it. Yes, please. Now, hopefully in a contingency situation, if you are having to use this, you have done a couple things, either kept or memorized the instructions. And I went to their site, their official site and printed out and, and or memorized. You, you gotta know how to use stuff. You see what I'm saying? That's why I kept the instructions on this. This is evidence. I've never used it before. You see, I put it there because I don't want to be hit with bad water stuff. So we're going to use it in accordance with the instructions, in accordance with the instructions off the website. There's an argument people have that these are only good for five years. I went to the website. That's not true. Apparently their lifespan is supposedly unlimited. I don't know about that. But what you can do is once you start using it, you can filter enough water to keep you alive for five years. Apparently that's where the thing is. If anybody's got any corrections, let me know. But that's what it said on the website. Now, the instructions are basically pretty simple. Let's go over them. Yeah, you guys are catching me. Readers. It says, start by start using the straw by uncapping both ends and standing it up in water for 10 seconds. You're supposed to soak this in the water for a little bit. Then take five quick sips from the mouthpiece. That's it. The next one is regularly blow air through the live straw after drinking to keep the filter clean and prevent clogging. That's it guys. You set it in the water for 10 seconds. You take some sips. It says regularly, it doesn't say how often. 
I'm gonna probably drink what's in the cup. The cup's only that big, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna blow it out to clean out the filter. I'm gonna cap this thing back up, and then I'm gonna do that every day for seven days, and we're gonna see what happens. I hope you guys are wishing me luck. Yes, and here a second, we're gonna do it for the first time. All right, guys. So I have my tin cup. I have my bandana over the top of it. I have my rubber band. I'm going to go out, turn on the water, and I'll be back in a sec. Yes? Mm. Wish me luck. And we're back. So this is the cup. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I take off the rubber band. I take off the uh, bandana. Put that off to the side. I don't know. You guys want to take a look at this water? I don't know. I didn't see anything get trapped on this. Yes. But it doesn't look absolutely clear. Okay. I'm going to move you guys. You're going to hate this because it's going to be bouncing all around. But I want you guys to take a look. See if you guys can see it. It doesn't look absolutely clear. So, well, it came out of the barrels. So, what do you expect? Oh, no. What the heck? We're going to get dizzy. Let me put you back in place. And, Rick, you should edit your videos better. Yeah, I know. It's not the way. Now, before we go any farther, two things. Uh, one, if you guys haven't filtered, I've filtered water uh, uh, through a bandana before. Not for drinking out of one of these filters. We had a larger one. It's a long story. It doesn't matter. That you sat there and pumped. It was huge. It was like a gallon. And so we pre-filtered with this, uh, not this one, but with that before we used it. And to let you know, uh, until this gets wet, it doesn't, water doesn't want to go through. You would think it would go right through cloth. Like just now, I had to sit there and let it dribble on it for a while before you, before water will actually flow through it. So be ready for that if you've never done it before. It's like a little public service announcement. And then the other thing, I was uh, someplace where the water was terrible. And we couldn't drink it. We were told, don't drink it. Don't even brush your teeth with it. I mean, it was just that bad. We had to use bottled water. However, I knew sooner or later, by accident or whatever, I was going to end up drinking some of that water. So I took precautions. Let me explain. I've mentioned before, it's not me. Someone else said it. But it's not the strong and it's not the smartest who survive. It's the one who adapts. So what I did was, because I knew it was sooner or later going to happen, is I made ice cubes with bottled water. Right? And I put just a little bit of the water from the area in the ice cubes. Just a teeny little bit. And then I put those in my glasses and I would drink it. So just a teeny little bit of that water would uh, get into what I was drinking. And so then each time I did a little more and a little more and a little more over a span of time until my ice cubes were total water you shouldn't drink. And it was melting in my whatever I was drinking at the time. So I was getting it a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. I'm not a medical professional. This is not medical advice. I'm just telling you what I did. And eventually everyone there, and I'm sure including me, was exposed to the local water and everyone suffered except me because I had built up a thing to it. Now I'm not telling you to do this. This is a disclaimer. By the way, disclaimer on all my videos. Not financial advice, not survival advice, not medical advice, not any kind of advice. This is just me and my opinion. But I am letting you know what I've done in the past. All right, getting back to our test. So, according to the instructions, it says you're supposed to take the cap off. Let me get readers again, really? We're going to make sure we got this clear. It says uncap both ends and standing it up in water for 10 seconds. Then there's one cap, there's the other cap. They have dust on this. That's how long it's been in my bags. Stand at it for 10 seconds, take five quick sips. All right, stay off. Stand it up for open sesame. 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, all right, then it says to take five quick sips. Yes, you guys ready for this? All right, info you it took six before the water actually came up. 
and it tastes like water. Yeah? Now, I don't know if you guys want to watch me drink this whole cup. What are we talking about? So, I'm cutting this. I'm going to drink it. We'll see what happens. All right? Wish me luck. Okay, I'm actually about halfway done. I don't need these. With the cup, and I thought of two things that are probably going to be in some people's minds. Number one. Hey, we're, we don't know you got that water out of the thing. You could be lying. And that's absolutely true. If you think I'm lying, get off my channel. Yes. If you're a subscriber, no offense intended, unsubscribe. Just go, because that is not the way. Yes? And then number two, like, we don't know you're drinking it. You cut the video. Okay, I'm halfway done, and I'm going to drink We don't know you need to. Okay, you don't. All right, you don't. And if that's how you are, you should go somewhere else. Yes? Yes. But how about if I drink a little more? For those of you who believe... Now, I've read reviews where people are like, it's hard to drink through. If you do the little mouthful thing five or six times, then the water gets up to you and then and it drains back out. And then it's actually not that hard to drink. Yes? Yes. Now, I don't know if I can make this video so this plays really fast or you guys can go on that little thing and click and play back speed and play it fast so you don't have to watch me drink the rest of it, but there's not that much left. Uh, there's a little dribble in the bottom of the glass. I almost want to just drink it, but you and I both know that would be a bad idea. And that's it. It then says periodically you're supposed to blow through this thing to clean it out. So I'm blowing. Don't go with the joke, guys. That's it. All right, if anybody's used one of these before, if you've seen me do anything wrong or something that didn't happen for you, let me know. All right, I'm going to pack this up. We're gonna pack this up and we're gonna do this again tomorrow. And again, for the next seven days or so. Uh, probably not going to make videos about it unless of course I end up in urgent care because of my stomach but we'll find out so again this is not my niche as I said uh, one of my longtime subscribers reminded me and everybody out there this is not my niche however I've never seen anyone do it it's not that difficult these things are light they, they talk about how light they are and again I've had no issues with them I carry them but I've never used one so and now I have and it's an old one not the new one I got. Yes, I'm going to replace this one with that. And uh, yeah, when the second thing comes in, the second item, I guess I'll do another video on that. In I don't know when. I think it's due in tomorrow, maybe. We'll find out. Yes? Yes. Now, someone might say, well, Rick, why'd you pick that? Because you had them and you trust them. I, I think I'm going under the fact that they're trustworthy or I wouldn't have them. I've done all the research, but I've never used them. Why did I pick one of these? Well, first off, besides that it was sent, I mean, why did I pick it out of the few, there was like a handful that were sent, is because of what's going on. In Florida right now, there's a lot of people that don't have drinking water. Now, this is like a camping, hiking thing. Remember I said basic stuff that FEMA says you should have, then there's camping stuff. This is like a camping, hiking thing. You with me? However, can you see how it could be used? There are people that don't have drinking water. And... This thing supposedly can do like 4,000 gallons of water for an individual person. Uh, it's not that hard to use. Mine isn't. Uh, again, I've seen reviews. You just do the little mouthful thing where you and then it comes up. It takes about five or six times, and then you can just drink it like a small straw. It's not super easy, but it's that wasn't terrible. Yes? So, camping equipment. We'll call it the camping equipment stuff that... If you have it, people aren't going to lose their mind and go, you're a prepper. You're one of those people. No, it's just for camping stuff. Again, I have these in case uh, I run into non-potable waters problems again, which have happened while we've been camping. So that's what it's for. But please, the, the important part is, can you see how it can be used in a larger contingency? And also, it wasn't that expensive. 
you know, for peace of mind, if it works. And again, we're going to find out in the next seven days whether it works or not or how it works. But uh, yeah, it, it wasn't that expensive. I think I got it and I believe it was like, I don't know, 12 bucks maybe. They were having a sale. So $12 is not too bad if this works, if it could save your life. And imagine a bigger contingency. Yes? Yes. All right, everyone, that's it for this. I hope I didn't forget anything. I hope this finds you well. I hope you are happy. I hope you are positive. And please, always be prepared. Yes? Yes. <laughs>